Hey guys, welcome to Red 5 Thank you for tuning into another video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So in today's video, I want to go over how to install Sync 3.4 system for your Ford vehicle. So we're going to be going from this to that. Now you may be wondering, why do you need the Sync 3.4 system? Well, it's always good to get the latest version out there for your car, phone, laptop, whatever have you. So why not do it for the car? What's going to benefit you from this, there might be some new feature that get introduced over time, or you might be able to, if you're experiencing some bugs or anything like that, it's, it's worth the while to upgrade to the latest system to fix those bugs. So my car has the Sync 3.3 system, so we're going to be upgrading to Sync 3.4. I do have a 2019 Mustang GT, but the process is going to be same for all your Ford vehicle that are equipped with at least Sync 3.0 system. So whether it's a Ford F-150, Ford Transit Man, Ford Fusion, you name it, it should be the same process. Now there are three main ways you can upgrade to the new and latest Sync software. You can do the Wi-Fi installation, take it into your dealer, or do the USB installation. Wi-Fi installation can be a little bit choppy depending how strong your network is, where your car is parked, and you don't want to mess it up because the installation can take a little bit of time so you don't want the power to cut off or the Wi-Fi to kind of go off. So I don't really recommend that. You could definitely take it into your dealer, but it's a process. Who wants to call into the dealer, go into the dealership, and get scheduled out? It's like a couple hours of your day gone. With this process, it's going to be taking you 30 minutes or so to do it. So we're going to be focusing on the USB version on how to install it. So we're going to be covering the USB version. That saves us a trip to the dealership. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Now keep in mind that even with the USB version, there are a couple key areas that you don't want to be overlooking. So make sure you pay close attention to this tutorial. All right, so we're going to start off by going on owners.ford.com. I'll link this up in the description. Uh, but once you're on this website, you are going to either create an account or log into your own account if you haven't already done so. So once you're logged in, you're going to see your car on the top right corner and you're going to click on support tab right over there. Once you are in the support tab, you should see all these links. Once you see all these links, you're going to go into the quick links and you'll see sync software updates. Once you get the software updates, you're going to go over to check VIN for the latest software updates. So in this, so by this time, you're going to go ahead, find the VIN number for your car. You can find it on the dashboard or on the door jam. So let's go ahead and find the VIN and enter it here. Now for me, I've already entered my VIN number and you can see if you scroll down a little bit, click on USB, you see the Sync 3.4 system is available to download for my specific car. So I'm going to go ahead and click the download button and see how long it's take. It's about 1.8 gigabytes, so it's going to take like a few minutes. I'll be back when it's done downloading. Now once it's downloaded, you want to go ahead and find it where it's downloaded and extract out the file. So you're going to unzip the file and find a USB. So Ford recommends finding at least 8 gigabytes of space in your USB. For me, I've got this 32 gigabytes, more doesn't really hurt. So we're gonna go ahead with this 32 gigabyte USB drive. Now it's important that you format the USB and this is where the key point is and how to format it so you don't screw up anything. Because if you have a different formatting system, it's not gonna read it properly and it could mess up your sync system. So make sure you kind of follow these steps to make sure you're properly formatting your USB drive before you put the files over into the USB. And obviously when you format it, you also delete everything in the USB, so just less risk for some other files to kind of interrupt installation. So I'm using my Mac, but if you have Windows, it should be a similar process. But for Mac, you're gonna go into the disk utility, and on this menu on the left side, you see the USB plugged in. So I'm gonna click on that, I'm gonna select the USB, and click erase right here. Now, this is where it's asking you what type of format I wanna format it to. So please, please, please make sure it's selected to XFAT or XFAT, uh, XFAT. So make sure it's selected to that format because that's the version uh, or that's the formatting that your Sync 3 system is able to read. So once you click on that, click on erase and format the USB and you should be good to go. Now that the formatting is done, I would just please go ahead and verify that it's XFAT because like I said, if it's not in the same format, it could screw it up. So we're going to go ahead, click on the disk itself or the micro, uh, the USB itself and just verify it's there. So as you can see, it is XFAT, so I'm good to go. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and drag all the files we've downloaded into this new USB. Let's go. And now for the easy part, we're going to take that USB and bring it over to your car. So I've got my USB right here 
where I'm gonna go ahead and use this USB, plug it into my car. It should auto detect, but if not, we can always go through settings. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna plug it in and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to be going ahead and using this USB port on my center console and it's gonna be hard to do it with one hand, so I'll plug it in and I'll show it to you. All right, so I've got the USB installed as you can see right here. And let's go ahead and start the car. So as you can see here, that has started updating the system software. I've got my USB here. Um, this could take 20, 30 minutes. So I am going to come back when it's done doing it. Make sure your car is on. Don't leave it on accessory mode. Um, as you can see, my car is currently on. This way, the car doesn't shut off in the mid middle of the update, which could cause some serious corruption issues in the file. All right, so I'll be back when it's done. Now, I do want to point out that if you do have a Mac and you did the extraction with the Mac instead of a PC, um, it may give you a system error while you're trying to do it um, because the way sometimes Mac extracts the files doesn't work out too well unless you're using a third-party software or something. So if you're having issues, um, you kind of follow my steps with the Mac and you're having issues, just try using a PC. Um, for me, it worked with the Mac, but I know some users have reported when they try it with a Mac, it doesn't always work out. So if you have a PC handy, definitely try that out. So it's, as you can see, it's rebooting now. We've got the logo back up. Give it a little bit of time and voila. It's updated, as you can see, this is completely new and all right so you will get the message that installation is complete and we can remove our usb now so take this out all right so that's done now we'll close this out and obviously you want to verify um, in this case we know because there's a new designer face but you want to verify that click on automatic updates view current software version and you can see this one got sync 3.4 as mentioned earlier so there it is the update is complete and the car is running fine there's no issues all right guys so that was pretty easy as you saw uh, nothing really complicated to install it once you kind of follow these basic steps it kind of works out and i plan on just kind of playing around with the sync 3.4 system i do plan on making a review on the sync 3.4 and all the changes that kind of carry or there are new changes from sync 3.3 to the sync 3.4 system so make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on that video if you do enjoy tutorials like that for your ford vehicle i've got a couple of them with the ford pass and the sync 3 phone connectivity that you can check them out here as always i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to red 5.0 for more videos